good morning. It is no longer morning. It is 1 45 p.m. And I'm starving. So let's go eat. I actually meant to eat earlier today, but I overslept and then I had to take my midterm. So here we are. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> For breakfast this morning, I decided to try out Oatly's oat gurt and I chopped it with some blackberries as well as purely Elizabeth's granola and some strawberry jam. This combination was honestly so good and I'm really surprised because it was my first time trying out Oatly's oat gurt. For lunch, I decided to have a salad and I used this big sweet potato as a base and I topped it with some cherry tomatoes as well as these veggie bites and some seitan. Braid it with some avocado oil, sprinkle of salt and pepper, and we're good to go. As a snack, I decided to eat a little bit of a cherry mango as well as some fresh juicery juice and some popcorn. I don't remember what I had for dinner and I'm pretty sure I forgot to film and I forgot to document it, but it's fine. The next morning, I had some potato and I topped it with some nut butter as well as this pumpkin butter from Trader Joe's and it was honestly so good despite it looking hideous. I'm sorry. I was out of the house for most of the day and I had some radish pancakes, radish cakes, as well as this veggie bun, which was so good. I had two of these buns. Um, yeah, would highly recommend. And I also snacked on way too many rice crackers. This is probably my favorite snack. And for dinner, I had more takeout, which was tofu, more, and like this vegetable in Chinese, which I don't know how to say. The next morning, I had more oatly oatgur, and I topped it with some strawberries. as well as more purely Elizabeth granola and more pumpkin butter. Honestly, the best toppings. My fave. Champion. As a snack, I had a honey crisp apple as well as this verb energy bar. And for lunch, I had some more of the leftovers from last night. As a snack before dinner, I had Press Juicery's Sweet Greens, which is a new product that I was actually trying out that day, and it's probably my new favorite green juice. And another salad, which is just greens, some veggie bites, seitan, cherry tomatoes sprayed with avocado oil, sprinkle of salt and pepper, and literally my favorite combo. Because I was still kind of hungry after I finished my salad, I ate more vegetables, which were some cooked bok choy that my mom made. If I'm being honest, I just want some ice cream. That's why I'm drinking this Olipop, because it reminds me of like a root beer float. But I don't have any vegan ice cream in this house. I'm trying not to bully myself every single time like I consume something that is not vegan. At the same time, I do want to be vegan, so I don't really know <laughs> what to do. <laughs> this is really good though. Plant powered, but today I just wanted something sweet. Maybe I'll eat some chocolate. I actually have not been documenting this, but usually I eat it and I only have like a piece so that I'm like, eh, I'm too lazy to turn on the lights and turn on the camera if I'm only just gonna have like a really small piece. But I've been eating like bark thins every single night for the past three days. Okay, I'm getting some bark thins. Yes, sir. Mm. Uh. Okay, um, I have a break, so let's make a smoothie. I only have like five minutes left in my break, but we're gonna do our best. I overslept, so here we are. Okay, now this tofu. Protein powder. This is my first time adding tofu to a smoothie, so I'm gonna see how this goes. I heard it makes smoothies like silkier. Thank you. 
Let's taste this. Not bad. I ignored my body for a couple of hours because I was doing homework and now I'm starving and I could eat a house. Let's make food. First, let's eat these vegetables because I am so hungry. I'm so hungry. Oh my God, rice is so good. For dinner, I decided to make some creamy corn pasta. There is not a lot of video footage of me cooking, mostly because it's hard to film cooking. Chef Ling in the house. I made a huge batch of this. I used this bonza pasta. Let's put on some cheese. I feel like it'd be fine without the cheese. Let's try this. Is it good or is it overly mediocre and it takes too long to make? It's pretty good. A little mediocre. Takes too long to make. Yeah, I decided to skip Tuesday because I was out for most of the day running errands and yeah. On to Wednesday. For breakfast, I had a banana. For lunch, I decided to make Japanese inari sushi or Korean yubu joba. This was inspired by the Korean vegan who is one of my favorite TikTokers and also her blog was one of my favorite blogs when I was starting to get into veganism a couple of years ago. This was really fun to make, although really tedious and kind of time consuming, even though it is technically really easy because it's just rice mixed with eggs or in this case vegan eggs and topped with some other toppings but um yeah after i had some of that so good i snacked on some chili mangoes and for dinner, I had some broccoli with some mapo tofu, which is what my mom made. And I had like five servings of this. Good morning. It is not even morning anymore. It is noon, but I finished my morning classes so I can finally eat. I have a love-hate relationship with morning classes because on one hand, halfway through the class, I become very, very hungry, but then I can't really leave. So, yeah, but by the end of the class, I feel very productive and I'm like, wow, look at all the things that I did today. So proud of myself. And I feel like it's really necessary and helpful today, especially because I've been feeling very unmotivated and not really doing much. Uh, I give up. So this morning, I decided Ooh. to make myself a matcha latte using Tea Master's matcha. This is my first time trying it um, after I visited their LA store and it's honestly so good. And honestly, it's been a while since I made matcha, so it was very satisfying to make. And let's check out this. That's right. Taste test! I look uncomfortable, but honestly, I swear. There you go. I'm a huge fan. It's so good. For breakfast, I decided to try to make kimchi tofu scramble, and I would honestly say this time was a success. I tried to make it before, and it was just terrible. Um, here is the tofu cooking and the final result. Honestly, this is one of my favorites ever. Would highly recommend. It's so good. I like to put it on top of salads and on top of rice and just add a lot of kimchi. Very, very good. For dinner, I had the rest of my salad mostly because I needed to finish the bag of salad before it went bad and I topped it with leftover mapo tofu as, as well as some 
pickled radish that my dad made. As a snack, I had some bark thins before having some kind of terrible vegan realization. Because it contains milk. And here is me going through a moment. <laughs> um, for dinner, I had a protein shake mostly because I was very busy that day and I didn't have time to eat dinner because I was working. Since I skipped Tuesday, I decided to share an extra day, which is what I would normally eat eat since this week was mostly like trying new recipes and this is a combination of the leftovers, the rice from the Inari Zushi, the tofu from the tofu scramble as well as broccoli that my mom made. I hope you enjoyed this what I eat in a week and I will see you next time. Bye!